In my last video I fitted this dual line laser and air assist module from XS Robotics in Germany. Uh, no doubt during that video some of you would have found my solution here for raising and lowering the material to be uh, somewhat risible. Okay, it works reasonably well when you only have maybe just a single tile on there. But when I want to cut larger material, it's a royal pain trying to reach underneath there just with my fingertips and adjust the height is a nightmare. What to do then? Fortunately, my friends over at XS Robotics have a really nice kit for an adjustable Z-axis table. Let's take a look at that kit now. The kit comes well packed then in a bag here. There are all the bearings and all the bearings and pulley wheels, etc. that we're going to need. The drive belt for the mechanism, some screws, some Sino glue, and nicely wrapped here, the 3D printed parts. Again, very good quality, much better than I could print. Some aluminium extrusions, a nice heavy duty base there from MDF and underneath the supplied aluminium honeycomb. As per the air assist that I reviewed in a previous video, we go to XS Robotics slash ZA in this case to view a PDF of the installation instructions. We also have a QR code there, so we have all bases covered. I shan't bore you by going through the document. I'll get on and do the assembly and just note anything which I find needs clarification. Let's see how we get on. The bed is complete then and very, very straightforward. I thought the instructions were very clear, nothing too complicated at all. When gluing using the supplied super glue, you will always see on my bench a little mysterious spray bottle. Now that contains isopropanol or IPA. And in a pinch, you can use that as an accelerator for super glue rather than buying an expensive accelerator. A quick spritz of this and you'll find that the CA goes off almost just as quickly. As we can see then, raising the bed now, just uh, turning away there, I would caution against, you're going to be tempted to use a uh, electric screwdriver or something, this wasn't really designed to be motorised and uh, there could be a danger of damaging the belt. It's better to uh, use it as intended and just drive it by hand. You're not going to be moving it huge amounts of distance, so you're not really saving any time. These being standard machine screws, uh, their tolerances are, are such that you'll probably find that it beds in over time and becomes a little bit freer. Should you feel the need, you can put a drop, and I stress just a drop, of uh, machine oil on the threads of the screws just to help them on their way. As with any lubricant, don't be getting it anywhere near the belts. For one, it might cause them to slip. For two, it will almost certainly cause them to perish. Anything else to note? Not really. Uh, it's useful to have a square handy when gluing in the aluminium channels, but they're pretty much they will line up themselves. Let's remove the the bed there. Make sure that the crinkled corners go in there so that you don't get one end that's sticking up. That's also convenient for removing and cleaning off the crud, which is inevitably going to uh, occur. That's all I can tell you then. Uh, I'll show it to you in the machine now. Placing it into the K40 is quite straightforward as well. You will of course need to remove these spaces if they're installed. They support the original bed that's in the K40 which is totally useless so they should be out anyway. One thing I did was to put some masking tape just over the magnets there. The reason for that is that the neodymium magnets, one, they're very brittle, so if you 
put this down hard there is a very slight danger you might crack them or chip them but also it makes it easier to remove I'm going to be using this on another laser as well so getting it in and out that will be made easier and it will still hold them in place on the K40 clearly the handle goes in the bottom left hand corner The bed then I've placed almost level with the exhaust vent there, which is the limit of the laser bed anyway, and forward far enough that the handle doesn't foul anything, and the left hand side is up against the metalwork here just to keep things square. So no surprise then, I can raise the bed up there. I put my piece of work in place and use my, my little guide tool on the top of the gantry there. That actually needs to go down. And it's just at that point there where it's focused. As I mentioned, I'll be using it with another laser. In this instance, my Autor. LaserMaster 2 Pro. Although this was designed for the K40 CO2 laser, there's no law that says that you can't use it wherever you like. Just make sure that you move the handle to the rear of the machine as the home position on the Autor is in the bottom left. Other than that, having the luxury of the Z adjuster there, it will work just as well both ways. A very neat kit then, I think you'll agree, and has all sorts of different applications that uh, I will no doubt find. As always, links down in the description to the instructions and where you can buy it. Many thanks for watching.